usually I work actually went by painting the, all of the paper first and working my way through the painting but I want to show you how I I paint uh, foregrounds with rocks and plants well not plants but uh, scrubby stuff I like rough stuff and the thing about foregrounds is that the quicker you can do them the more realistic they seem to look it's when you start labouring them and going over and over them so we've put a bit of water in the in the foreground here and while that's wet we'll put some nice colour in and I'm going to use this is Fabriano 130 pounds I'll use a card one or two to, to etch out and do some stones and rocky things to make things interesting so we'll put in a bit of bit of yellow I'm making this up as I go along so all my paintings or the vast majority of them are made up just put plenty of colour in well that's not fun. the lemon yellow in common is not very strong I'm going to change it to cadmium when I've used it all up and I've got several tubes of it so it'll be quite a while so let's have a bit of light red to that and a bit of, bit of blue The stronger you go, the, the more contrast you'll get between the lights and the darks. So there we are. So now let's put in some nice rich colour now in that foreground. Look, just a bit of ultramarine, burnt sienna, grey, red. Just this is, these would be rocks and we can put some bushes around them. And then we'll figure out the middle distance. Uh, Something like that. You want really good rich paint on this. Look. So blue. Plenty of blue in there. The darker you get, you're going to knock a lot of it out with the plastic cards. Okay, I'll just take off the excess moisture from the bottom. Well, it's just soaking out. It's just not quite quite ready to, to lift out. So I'll just, just run my brush along there and I'll reclip the paper, although the top hasn't grown, but the bottom has. And when it's all nice and dry and we've got some foreground in middle distance, we'll uh, hack away at the, uh, the background. So, look, just can be as big as you like. And I know some of you try to follow me doing this, but it doesn't always work out for you because it's lack of practice really, is all I can say. I have done a lot of this. All right, so let's just put in some See we've done the rocks, so I mean, no sooner said than done. It's as quick and simple as that. You don't need to labour with little brushes. And fiddle and fuss around and then wonder why it all ends up all weak and wishy-washy go for it have some fun with your watercolors right okay i'm going to give that a bit of a dry now so mute now I will get back to some acrylic painting soon, but I'm, I want to get some of these demos out of the way with the watercolour first. And the watercolours are always popular. So let's let's have a bit of bit of green now. A bit of really dark green, or sort of palette green. Blue, red, a lot of yellow, a lot of grey, plenty of everything really. Um, we'll just, just put in some bushes above all this we'll work our painting from the from the ground upwards I think look you can get all sorts of lovely uh, effects with your brush with the hake I only really teach the hake I occasionally have a foray into the uh, the mop and the sables which I love I must say but I'm not that experienced with them, but I'm working on it. 
Right, a little bit more water in that, get that nice green. Right, bluey green. The darker than what I've got in here. And we'll, we'll carry it, we'll just get some nice good darks in there now. In the shadow of those rocks. The thing is, when you're looking out there, you're not looking down here. So you don't want to do too much foreground. <coughs> or at least spend too much time on it. The faster you do it, the, the better your painting, I find. So now we can put in a bit of a bit of a sky. I'm going to leave a little bit un unpainted. Right, okay, bit of bit of sienna. But all just leave some random. These are impressions after all. Now just paint the palette. Bit of cloth. Or a bit of bit of kitchen mold, shall I say. I always buy very large jumbo rolls of this. Okay. Right. Uh, now a bit, bit blue. The sky very, very quickly. And a little bit of alizarin, or light red, whatever. Light red. Uh, well, the, the, sorry, the um, alizarin is quite a weak colour, unlike the light red. But let's get a nice bit of colour in there, a bit of sienna. The warm sky now. Now another uh, cloud colour, alizarin and Payne's grey. As you get to the distance, you can put in the smaller clouds. And then just a few, just dotted around. Let the water do its magic by letting the, letting the whole thing run down. I know, it's just a bit darker there in that cloud. Okay, that, that will do. Let gravity do its thing. Let's just take some of that moisture off. Give that a bit of a dry, then we'll put in a bit of a background. I put stills of all of my published demos on my Facebook page. There's always a link to it on all the videos, so come and join me. Right, now we're going to put in some blue background. A bit of blue and a bit of, bit of grey, but not too dark. And that's some trees in the background. Just fill those holes there. Okay. It's just pouring a little bit there. Right, now I'm going to dry that off and then put Put a, some autumn stuff on. Right, so nice autumn colours, uh, burnt sienna, 
bit of umber, a bit of Payne's grey, oh that's a pretty, yeah that'll do. Got some nice shadowy warms. So the blue is just the background to give some depth to the warmer colours that I'm putting in. And there's just some over here. There's a lot of water on my brush here. Right, let's put some shadow in underneath some of that. Then we'll do a bit of a some trunks, some branches. Okay. So far, so good. Well, not. Let's just right, dry it. The headphones. Right, and I've put in some uh, some trunks, but not all over the tree. We want a bit of silhouette -y type of. The paint paper's just a little bit uh, lumpy. some of this. Okay, let's take a bit more blue in here. I'm repeating myself. Right now, some stronger it's all very hidden. This, but the demonstration on the cars maybe we've lost a bit of it, but. It's using the edge of the hake. Okay, that'll do for that. Right, let's just put in some. With the hake, just sort of some of this here, just. Okay, that, that'll do. Perhaps just a, no, we won't use the rigger on that at all, other than to put a couple of birds in. Right, like little birds. <coughs> right, okay, so. I do. A bit of a signature. I'll, um, I'll do the answers. Right, I'll put it in a mount. And we'll see what this demo is like. It's, uh, put it in this mount. I like that colour as well. 
Well, there we are. So painting rocks in watercolour, but I've had to finish the landscape off and, and the sky slightly different. Thanks for watching. I any questions, just ask on, on uh, YouTube. Let's just come up so we can get. Ooh. I'll zoom in now. Right, well, they're the rocks. Autumn colours, sort of an autumn sky. There, yeah, nothing too difficult about that. It looks as, as there's a lot more, or there's not as a lot in that. It looks a lot, but but it isn't. Believe you me, I've scraped out most of the paint in the foreground, and I just put these bushes in here. They don't quite register, but I've brought the trees down to a certain level in the painting. But I haven't really anchored them. But see how see how you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.